morning everybody and welcome to Jack Ray Vlogs day number 12 and I am at Fort Gordon in Augusta Georgia because I have an appointment here cute little dogs telling me that I got this I know I know how you feel babe feel okay I hope they let you in I don't know we'll see it looks so old, huh? <clears throat> so I'm finished with my appointment. It went well. I'll talk about it more later on in this video. So just stay tuned. But yeah, this appointment is good. Good appointment, yeah. We are waiting for our ride because he left and he had to come back. <sighs> There's polar bears all bundled up. <laughs> but I'm hungry now. So I guess we're gonna go back to the hotel. I'm gonna change my clothes. And then I hope we're going to go find something to eat before we head back home. The doctor was telling us there were some nice places in downtown Augusta. I don't know if we're doing that. Going there? What? I need to get something soon. I didn't bring snacks. I didn't bring snacks. I wasn't thinking. I had applesauce for breakfast. Does that count? Nope. It's only a matter of time before I get hangry. It's cold in Augusta. It's cold. I'm gonna sit in the warmth. Ooh, I'm about to pull up the car. Oh.
Like I said earlier in the video, I'm going to tell you how the appointment went. So it went good. I went in and got vitals done. And I had to get another EKG done. And then after that, I talked to the doctor, who was really very, very nice, by the way. And he explained what exactly was going on with my heart as far as rate-related bundle branch block goes. Because I was hospitalized on Father's Day weekend last year. And that is what came of it. Um, I think the chest pain was caused by the way that I sleep. I guess I slept too hard on my right side and it was causing an ache right here, which radiated down to my heart. But yeah, anyway, he drew a picture and basically he was like, the cause of my bundle branch block is not due to bad artery flow, bad blood flow in my arteries, or having a, a heart that's too thick, which is great, which is great. But the the cause, the, the way that he drew it, he drew the heart, he drew four different sections. So the top parts of the heart are the collection, like they get all of the signals from the brain the brain sends signals to the heart and then from the top part of the heart I guess it, he called them wires so there's like one wire that goes to the left side and then two wires that goes to the right so they like branch out so it's like this at the bottom of the heart and he was like that part where right before they branch out there's a delay He's like big on not saying that it's a block because if something is blocked, that means nothing could get through. So it's actually not blocked, it's just a delay. He kept calling, <laughs> they call, he called them heart wires and he kept calling it a faulty wire. So that is, you know, my situation. But other than that, heart looks normal. Everything looks good, ultrasound looks good. Oh, and he also explained it like if my heart beat is slow, then it looks normal. But it's when my heart rate speeds up that that delay, that delayed area in my heart wires is like, wait a minute, I don't wanna go that fast. So it goes like slower and there's a delay in sending the electric shock, something like that. So yeah. Next that. The day was great. The appointment was great. <sighs> Augusta visit was great. And yeah, I'm back home now. Back home. I do have to wear a heart monitor for two weeks. You can see it on my shirt. See? So I have to wear this for two weeks. And anytime something happens, like if I have heart palpitation, heart flutter, or something like that. And I'm supposed to push the button, boop, and it'll, you know, it'll record it. Like right now, it's recording what's going on in my heart. So if something happens, I just push the button. Then at the end of two weeks, I gotta send it back to this company. Like, it's too bright. This is the name of the company though. Boop, I 
I just mail it back and then they'll send the results to the hospital and I'll just call get a follow-up on the results that is it for this video thank you so much for tuning in stay tuned for more jaguary vlogs